one among the many things that we're looking at here on the floor of the 2011 Heli Expo. The wagon caught our eye. It's something of an RC helipad, I, I would suppose, the best way to describe it. What do you have here? Five years ago, we invented uh, what we call the heli wagon, and it's a wireless remote control helicopter landing pad. Um, and our, our purpose was to be able to have a product that you could land on, drive yourself into the hangar from inside the cockpit of your helicopter. Okay. So it's meant to be operated internally as well as externally? Yeah, yeah a lot of our clients are using it internally, but you can also walk around your helicopter. It's got a 360 degree view, so you have a remote control that you can take and walk around, which uh, we think from a safety standpoint is huge because it helps eliminate hangar rash because you're walking behind the tail rotor as you're backing it into the hangar. Smart. What's something like this run? Uh, our base model, which is a 12 by 14 model for the show, we're offering it this year at 24,700. Okay. And where does it go from there? This one fully equipped with our light package and a little bit bigger deck one runs about 28,500. What can they handle? What kind of ships uh, would be using something like this? Pretty much any skid equipped helicopter will fit on all of our models up to 7,500 pounds gross weight. What's it take to learn to use something like this? Is this a, uh, <laughs> do we have to worry about the operator? You know, honestly, it's something that within five or ten minutes of having the remote control in your hangar, you're a pro at it. It's extremely easy to run. Now, what kind of mobility issues uh, do you have to worry about? Uh, I mean, wet ramps, uh, are there any issues? Can you, can you operate it uh, only on an improved surface? Uh, can it handle pack grass or anything like that? Yeah, the only thing we can't really do, obviously, it's not meant to go off-road, but we, we build them in Idaho. We build them in the snow country, the extreme cold. And we can navigate through ice. Uh, hard pack surfaces are fine. It doesn't have to be just concrete. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, we're building them for people to have a hangar. Um, they will traverse the, the hangar lips and some, you know, 1 to 2 percent inclines as well getting into your hangar. It's electric vehicles of America we buy all of our parts from, so it's four cell batteries that are all tied in together. It's an extremely high-end remote control that has frequency hopping capabilities so that no two are ever alike. So you could have a dozen of these all lined up and they're all specific for each heli wagon. It's got an auto off deal, so if anything ever to happen, you could always flip that emergency off button. This also has a towing capability, so if you were to the point where you wanted to tow this you know, faster than 200 feet a minute, which is our, our cruise speed, there's a button there that you can flip to tow mode, and then a two inch receiver ball comes out of the front, and you can hook it to a tug and take it farther if you needed to get to a gas pump or something. How does somebody take something like this and put it in the field? Um, basically, is what we've done is we've created a product that the sides fold in for shipping. Ah, okay. So our, our main steel structure in the middle is only seven foot 11. So when the sides fold in, then we ship it on a truck. Uh, and then our support team actually flies in and shows up and sets it up and gives a couple hours of training on it just so that we make sure the customer knows how to run it properly and safely. How do insurance companies feel about something like this? You know, so far, um, you know, we've, we've got about three dozen of them in the field and so far everybody is um, endorsing them and loving them just because of the safety aspect. Who is your typical buyer? Where are these being utilized and why? You know, we thought it was going to be mostly personal um, and our ratio right now is about 50% personal and 50% companies, municipalities. Um, we sold them to sheriff's departments, air ambulances, FBI just took delivery of their first one. Um, this year we sold two to 429 owners, mm -hmm. a lot of 407s, uh, EC-135s, uh, A-Stars. We've had a couple of Robinson 66 uh, owners looking at them and, and taking orders on them. So it's been really, you know, we didn't really know who the buyer was going to be, but uh, it turns out that it's just a real big combination of a lot of different owners. How'd you come up with this? You know, it was kind of funny. Uh, like I said, about five years ago, we uh, we have a, our own helicopter, and it was one of those deals where we were putting the wheels on it and trying to pull it out of the hangar, and it was a two, three-man operation, and uh, I just decided that there had to be something better. So we started building these, and, and of course, the first one didn't look quite like this, but mm -hmm. we've come a long ways, and and I think just for the ease of it now, you know, we stay in our helicopter pretty much the whole time. If it's bad weather, we hit the hangar door, run this out, take off. Uh, if you have a co-pilot, he can even put this back in the hangar before you take off again and, and you're off and running. So it's very convenient.
Aero TV is brought to you by... Avidon sets a new standard for simplicity and safety with our all-new panel-mounted avionics stack. The IFT540 GPS Navcom features our award-winning FMS with an intuitive touchscreen user interface. Plus, it's a slide-in replacement for 530 series navigators, which reduces installation costs. The AMX240 is our new audio panel with intercom and Bluetooth music interface. And our AXP340 Mode-S transponder with ADS-B out is a slide-in replacement for existing KT76A transponders. Add in our innovative DFC90 series autopilot with flight envelope protection and you've got the most capable and easy to use avionics stack any pilot could ever need. Now you have a choice in the